Hi folks, this is Shafiq. Today we are going to mention facial landmark detection with Media Pipe Library. But before we begin, please like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Please also make comments. Media Pipe is a Google powered library and it can find 468 different facial landmarks in a face. Besides, it mentions facial landmarks in three-dimensional space. It's an innovation because its competitors do it in the two-dimensional space. Firstly, I'm going to import the Media Pipe library. If you haven't installed the library yet, then you should call pip install Media Pipe command to install the package and its prerequisites. I'm using the latest version which is 0891 in this experiment. We will also need OpenCV and Matplotlib libraries to manipulate images. Let's read an image with OpenCV. OpenCV dot imread and here I'm going to pass the image name and assign this to image base variable then i'm going to copy the content of the image base to the image variable because in the following steps i will restore the base image facial landmark detection module is available under mediapipe.solutions.face mesh and assign this to mediapipe face mesh thereafter made the pipe face mesh dot face mesh and let's say its arguments and set static image mode to true and assign this line to face mesh variable as seen in this information message made the pipe uses tensorflow light in the background and if you import the regular tensorflow before the media pipe then you will have trouble and finally we are going to call face mesh dot process and pass input image as argument this is going to return the results and let's see the results dot multi face landmarks multiple face landmarks returns the python list because it might include multiple face in the base image that's why I'm going to get the first item because I know that there is just a face in my base image. Here I'm going to set this line to landmarks variable and I know that there are 468 landmarks and each landmark has three dimensional values. Here I'm going to build a for loop for landmark in landmarks dot landmark and print the landmark here as seen each landmark has three dimensional values here i'm going to get the x y and z coordinates one by one x is equal to landmark dot x y is equal to landmark dot y and z is equal to landmark dot Z. Project each landmark in the three dimensional space. I also need to import uh, this additional library mpl toolkits.mplot3d and import access 3d. We also need to mention uh, this is going to be run in the notebook. That's why percentage symbol matplotlib and notebook. In that way, it will become interactable and here let's store x y and z coordinates in a python list let's initialize them first x y and z and here i'm going to append the x value append the y value and finally append the z value Let's create the figure first. Piata dot figure and AX is equal to axis 3D 
and here we will pass figure as input argument then projection is going to be x dot scatter and here we will pass the x y's and z's also we will mention the color and let's say it's going to be green and finally we will call piata dot show this is the three-dimensional projection of our face and this is interactable as seen those are her eyes this is her nose and this is her mouth this is the frontal projection and we can so this is her three-dimensional projection but I actually do not need to plot 3d in the following steps that's why I'm going to deactivate this block and we start the kernel and I will not uh, import this module and uh, I will not mention this is going to be a notebook and let's run the notebook from the beginning I'm going to highlight the x and uh, y coordinates of each landmark in the base image that's why I will not store those values in the python lists as well remember the content of the x values they are all in scale of 0 and 1 in other words they are normalized values and we need to denormalize them that's why i'm going to multiply the x value to the base images shapes one index value because this is the width and let's store this in the relative x and similarly the normalized y value as well multiply y value to the zero index value because this is the height of the base image i'm also going to cast down to integer and highlight relative x and relative y in the base image open cv dot circle and here i'm going to pass image by the way we can use image variable here and circle function expects the center of a coordinate and uh, this should be a uh, two-dimensional value and here i'm going to set relative x and relative y then it expects radius let's set it to 5 then color is going to be for example uh, let's set red for o oh, o oh, and 255 and then let's set the thickness let's set it to minus 1 and here let's show the image piata dot im show and pass image as input argument and this is the facial landmarks highlighted version of the original image and let's convert it to red green blue also let's increase as its resolution figure is going to be piata dot figure and set figure size to for example 15 times 15 and then call piata dot show 468 different facial landmarks are highlighted in the base image we can also mention the specific area of uh, these landmarks such as just eyes or noses here made a pipe face mesh 
press uh, stamp constant values for example left eye it returns the coordinates uh, of the uh, eyes in the facial landmark remember that there are 468 uh, different landmarks and uh, we should draw a line from uh, this source to this target and, and then it's going to be plot the eye let's restore the image from the base image first then get this coordinates made the pipe face mesh dot uh, the specific area of the face and build a for loop for this line and remember that it returns source id and target id and here source is going to be landmarks dot landmark and get source id x index value similarly do it for the target and we are going to set the target id x here source has the x and y value and remember that we need to denormalize those x and y values what the width and height of the base image we are going to use one index value for the width and zero index value for the height and let's set this to a tuple and store this in the relative source also we need to cast the x and uh, y values to the integer and i'm going to do it for the relative target Here I'm going to use target.x and target.y. By the way, those should be replaced with dot instead of comma. Then we are able to highlight the line from source to target. Open CV dot line and pass image as input. Then point one is going to be relative source and point two is going to be relative target. Then color is going to be, let's set it to, for example, white for 255 in the three dimensions. And finally, thickness is going to be, for example, two. After this for loop, we are able to plot the image and we can use this block in the same way. And as seen, this block highlights the eye area, left eye area. What else? Instead of left eye, we can use, for example, face oval. And it detects the uh, just facial area. And we can use this in the normalization stage of a modern facial recognition pipeline. What's more? For example, left eyebrow. This highlights the eyebrow. The both eye and eyebrow can be used for the liveness detection and the facial recognition. Moreover, for example, lips. This highlights the lips. This is very successful. Furthermore, Tessellation, this is my favorite. It shows the face mesh. So we have mentioned facial landmark detection with media pipe in both two dimensional space and three dimensional space. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Please also make comments. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.